Christine wins, when? there's a stipulation when? that Cowboy Mike Hughes leaves ECPW and never returns to Cape Breton. And the champion from Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, Lincoln Steve. Let's hear for Steve, baby! Right here. Right here.
Ross! Get him off the road! Shut up! Oh, my God.
upstairs. Sydney, that people chanted cowboy back when I spelled it with a C, 
and that what it means the most to promoters is that people support the pro wrestlers in Cape Breton supported me and probably kept me in a job. And that job took me around the world and gave me 21 amazing years. And I want to thank you guys for that. I've been coming to Cape Breton for, like I said, 21 years. And I've been here with Grand Prix Wrestling. I was a part of building Real Action Wrestling, and for those of you that remember that, those were some pretty special times back when wrestling was booming here in the Maritimes. And BCPW is doing a great job of bringing wrestling back to Cape Breton. And I want to thank Sheldon and all the staff here for revising it. But the reason that he can revise and rebuild it is because of you great fans. And like I said, I look around here tonight, and I see some of the people that were here 21 years ago. So to keep coming back out and supporting Cowboy Mike Hughes, and supporting everybody in independent wrestling, that means the world to me. And I want to thank you very much. You know, pro wrestling goes through cycles all the time. And you guys are very fortunate. Because you look around this ring right here, this is the new generation of pro wrestling. And these guys are going to carry the torch long after I'm gone. And they're doing a great job. Uh, you guys, you guys don't understand. I've been around the world. I've wrestled everywhere from San Juan to Tokyo and everywhere's in between. And the caliber of wrestling right here in the Maritimes is as good as it is anywhere. And that's because of the good foundation we have. And that's because of the good fans that we have that we can keep coming back and doing that and putting on shows for you guys. I don't waste your time here anymore, but in our business they say never say never. But if this is the last time I ever wrestle in Cape Breton, and I think it is, like I said earlier, I'm getting old. <sighs> Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Everybody. Himself, James Ash, and Steen, where he's at, were the first three guys we've ever had in the show. They're still here. Uh, he's been a friend and a mentor, and I appreciate everything you've done. And you never know what I see down the road sometimes. Thank you.